here in i button and in description box below you will get the complete playlist of laplace transform in this video welcome to video number 17 and in this video we are going to see inverse uh, formulae okay formulae that we are going to use while solving problems of uh, inverse laplace transform okay uh, and uh, we will try to remember all this formula by 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 the help of uh, those formulae that we have uh, already used in the Laplace transform. Okay, so if you see, we have the formula of Laplace transform of one that is one upon s. We have the formula for Laplace transform of one that is one upon s. So here, inverse Laplace transform of one upon s is how much one? Here we see Laplace transform of one is how much one upon s. Here you can see inverse Laplace transform of one upon s equals to what one? Fine. Now come into second formula. That is, yes, Laplace transform of e to the power a t equals to how much? 1 upon s minus a. I repeat this once again. E to, uh, Laplace transform of e to the power a t is how much? 1 upon s minus a. In the same way, you will get inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s minus a equals to how much? e to the power a t. Okay. Inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s minus a is how much? e to the power a t. Now come into third formula. That is, Laplace transform t to the power n equals to factorial n upon s to the power n plus 1. Okay. Laplace transform of t to the power n equals to factorial n upon s to the power n plus 1. So here we have the formula for Laplace transform, inverse Laplace transform 1 upon s to the power n. That is how much? t to the power n minus 1 upon factorial n minus 1. Here you can see here the power of n is how much? n. But here the power of n is how much? S is how much? n plus 1. So if it is n plus 1, then here it is n, here it is n. But if you see the power of S is how much? n. So here you will have n minus 1 and n minus 1. Fine. Now coming to fourth formula that is Laplace transform of cos a t. Laplace transform of cos a t. How much? S upon S is square plus a square. Laplace transform of cos a t equals to s upon s a square plus a square. In the same way, you will get inverse Laplace transform of s upon s a square plus a square equals to cos a t. Fine. I repeat this once again. Inverse Laplace transform of s upon s a square plus a square is how much? Cos a t. Now coming to next formula. Laplace transform of this sin a t. Laplace transform of sin a t equals to what? a upon s a square plus a square okay here it is laplace transform of sin a t if you take this laplace transform laplace transform to the right hand side you will get inverse laplace transform of a upon s a square plus a square now since a is a constant we can take this constant here so you will get inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s a square plus a square equals to 1 upon a into sin a t exactly this is what exactly i have written here inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s a square plus a square equals to 1 upon a times sin a t. Fine? Yes. Now coming to last two formulae. Yes. Laplace transform of cos hyperbolic a t. Laplace transform of cos hyperbolic a t equals to what? s upon s a square minus a square. Okay? Cos hyperbolic a t. Laplace transform of cos hyperbolic a t is what? s upon s a square minus a square. Here you have inverse Laplace transform of s upon s a square minus a square okay here we have minus sign so it will be cos hyperbolic a t okay now coming to the last formula that is Laplace transform of sine hyperbolic a t is how much a upon s a square minus a square okay if I make this one it means I have taken this a here that is 1 upon a okay that means if I need to find the inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s a square minus a square then the value will be 1 upon a into sine hyperbolic a t fine yes so, la, inverse Laplace transform of what 1 upon s a square minus a square equals to 1 upon a times sine hyperbolic a t 1 upon sine hyperbolic a t so in this video we have tried to uh, memorize uh, <coughs> how to uh, remember formula okay if you know the formula for la, uh, all the formula in the Laplace transform in this using this formula you can also remember the formula in the case of inverse Laplace transform okay so in the next video 
we will try to memorize properties of inverse laplace transform by the help of properties of laplace transform okay thank you so much